Hello guys, Vivek here and in today's video I'm going to describe you all about ampere hour, ampere and watt hour. What do they mean? Okay, uh, we have seen these ratings written on batteries. So what uh, what is the meaning of ampere hour, ampere and watt hour? Okay, and how ampere hour and ampere is different? So a lot of confusions are there to, uh, there are a lot of confusions between ampere hour and ampere to many people. So today in this video, I'm going to describe you all about these things. Uh, but before that, I would like to thank you all for supporting my channel. And we have just crossed 1000 subscribers. So a big shout out to everyone out there who have supported us. And uh, please keep supporting us like that because that motivates me to bring more such informative videos for you. Okay, so let's just start with today's topic. So you have seen batteries like this. This is a mobile battery. You have seen ratings written like 2.4 watt hour. Here it is 2.4 watt hour. Here 900 milliampere hour. It's a digital camera battery. Similarly, we have bigger batteries rated as 100 ampere hour. Here it is written 100 ampere hour, 12 volt. So what does this ampere hour means? Okay, so now ampere hour versus ampere first of all we will we understand what is the meaning of ampere hour and then the whole thing will be clear so let's say we just saw that there is a battery which is rated as 100 ampere hour so what is the meaning of 100 ampere hour it means in literal meanings it means that it the battery is capable of supplying 100 amps of current for one hour okay so what what does that mean that if we are taking if we are continuously using the battery and we are taking out 100 ampere of current out of it so it will discharge in one hour okay in another term we can say this that if we double the rate of current that is if we let's say if we are taking 200 amps of current from the battery so the battery will completely take uh, the battery will take a time of half hour to discharge completely okay if we take let's say 300 amps of current from the battery okay so the battery will discharge in one third hour so basically you understand uh, what is the main uh, meaning behind the ampere hour as we increase the amount of amps that we are taking let's say we have to, uh, the, the battery was rated for 100 ampere hour so if we uh, uh, multiply this with two okay that is double the double up the uh, amount of current so if we take double amount of current the time will be halved okay if we if we take three times current more than the rating the time will be one third okay so that is how this things work so if we take an uh, if we take a battery of n amp hour so that it means that the battery is capable of supplying n amps of current for one hour okay so that is the meaning so many people have confusion like how does a 100 ampere of current which is written 100 ampere or, or uh, how it can give 700 amps of current okay so basically it doesn't work like that ampere hour is basically it is a kind of capacity of the battery a battery is an energy storage device so uh, it depends on how much energy we are taking okay uh, depending upon the amount of energy we are using from the battery it the the fact uh, of discharge the time of discharge depends upon that okay so higher the amount of energy we are taking higher the amount of amps that we are taking the same amount of time decrease we will see for discharging so if we take 100 uh, if we take 700 amps of current from the battery it will take a time of one one seventh of an hour to completely discharge okay so that's what's the difference between ampere hour and ampere it, it has no relation with the ampere basically ampere is the unit of current okay so it has nothing to do with the ampere hour it's just that we can use a hundred ampere hour current to take thousand amperes of current but uh, the, what will happen that battery will discharge in one tenth of an hour okay. so it is the meaning of ampere hour now let us see um, some more facts we have taken an example of 700 ampere hour let's say we take an example of 700 ampere hour so if we take 700 amps of current from the battery what we just got that it will discharge in one hour okay that's what it means but that is an ideal case it doesn't hold true in practicality okay so if we are taking 700 amps of current you will find that the battery will discharge long before one hour it will not take one hour it will discharge in uh, less time okay why does this happening see 
this is a battery let's say this is a battery we have okay and uh, this battery has some internal resistance here we are connecting a load our load that is here okay and this one so we are taking 100 amps of current now the uh, this this internal resistance is there let's say it has some um, some resistance like let's say 5 ohms of resistance okay so we have a 5 ohm of resistance and if we are taking 700 amps from the battery you can understand how much voltage uh, drop will be there this the, the voltage will be the voltage drop at the resistance will be 700 into 5 that is 3500 volts there will be a drop of 3500 volts not only this there will be a huge amount of heat loss because 700 amps is a really huge current so the heat loss will be 700 squared 700 squared into 5 multiplied by 5 so you can understand this amount of heat loss will be there and heat loss means the energy loss so that means the battery will discharge long before one hour okay so that that is what uh, holds true in physical sense the loss uh, at the internal resistance will cause the battery to deplete much before the actual time that we have calculated now let me erase this all now uh, so we just saw that the battery will take uh, uh, less than one hour to completely discharge if we are using it at 700 amps now let's say we have the same battery 700 ampere hour battery and we are taking current 1 milliamps so how much time it will take generally if we calculate so it will take 700 upon 1 milliamps so uh, this is the time it will take so it basically it will take 700 into 10 power 3 that is 700,000 so it will take 700,000 hours to get the battery discharged. So it is, is it like that? It will take 700,000 hours to discharge. No, this is also not correct. Even if we are using it at derated value, this doesn't hold true. Because you know the battery has a liquid solution, there is a liquid solution within this which is called the electrolyte. So long before this 700,000 hours, it will, uh, the, the, the solution will be completely dilute and it means that it will uh, it will lose its uh, uh, energy giving capacity over the time so you will see that the battery uh, over the time the the capacity of uh, giving energy of the battery depletes okay so you will not be get, you will not be getting 1 milliamps of current for so long time okay long before the battery will be completed discharge now let us understand what is the meaning of watt hour watt hour means basically if we say the watt hour so battery has some rating in voltage okay let's say 12 volt 100 ampere hour battery so this voltage multiplied by ampere hour gives us watt hour okay so if we have a 12 volt battery 100 ampere hour rating so multiplying this will give us 1200 watt hour so this is the rating of watt hour in physical sense it means that the battery is capable if we take one watt hour uh, battery so it means that the battery is capable of supplying one watt of power for one hour time okay so it also means that it is capable of supplying two watt of power for half hour half an hour okay so these are the meanings just like the ampere hour watt hour is also dependent upon the uh, amount of energy that we are using and depending depending on that the time, or time of depletion is dependent now we must it must be mentioned that the voltage rating of the battery remains constant it depends on how much current we are taking from the battery and uh, uh, depending upon that the energy and power output depends and also the time of complete discharge depends upon the same so this is the meaning of watt hour okay so thanks for watching i hope you have liked this video if this video was helpful for you and you have learned something today please like this video okay and if you have any query if you have any question and if you want to give some feedback upon this video please comment below share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more such informative videos okay so thanks for watching this is vivek chauve signing off thank you